Moreover, in the literature review, we need to see that is any of these variables, okay, sorry, um, is any of these variables are part of any important theory of social sciences. For example, this variable purchase intention is found in several important theories of social sciences such as theory of reasoned action or theory of planned behavior. Both theories were proposed by Fishbein and Edson in back dates. So one another thing we need to discuss here that any of those variables their definition might differ in several other disciplines so for example consumer trust can be defined separately in the psychological discipline as well as business discipline so there can be many differences in terms of their definition so you have to be clear in terms of what definition you are using while creating this variable and justifying this variable in terms of defining your literature review so the end of this literature review is the formulation or the proposition of the theoretical framework and based on such the theoretical sorry uh, the hypothesis and uh, those hypotheses can be several but all this will be based on the research purpose the theoretical framework uh, what we will say here the conceptual framework so because this is just a proposed right now so we are just uh, using a term and uh, that is conceptual framework so once this framework is proved after applying a certain methodology then findings then analysis then discussion and at the very end when we found that those variable or those conceptual framework are supported so then we can say that this is an actual theory at the end of the research so okay just beginning it so as like uh, previous videos so 